Today we multiply decimals times 10, 100, and 1,000. To multiply a decimal times 10, you have to move the decimal one place to the right. The decimal is now behind the 9, so that gives us the whole number answer, 9. When we multiply a decimal times 100, we remove the decimal two places to the right. Because of the empty spot, we'll fill in a 0. Our product is now 90. When we multiply by 1,000, the three zeros tell us to move the decimal three places to the right. We have to fill zeros into two empty spaces, and that gives us 900 as a product. You won't always have to add zeros into the empty spaces. For example, in number 12, when you move the decimal to the right one time, we have 2 and 178 thousandths. To multiply by 100, we move the decimal two times. That gives us 21 and 78 hundredths. When we multiply by 1,000, we'll move the decimal three places. Our product is 217 and 8 tenths.